For this video, we are going to do a fun project and focus on some chalk paint techniques. The two techniques we will be doing are paint washing and dry brushing. They give such a nice look to furniture and you can use them in so many ways. I started with a small buffet in really good shape. We will be replacing the hardware as well, so I removed the old ones. And of course, always start with a good cleaning. This buffet was so shiny and I was worried that doing a wash technique on this piece is going to lift the base color. To play safe, I'm using slick stick. I like to use a roller as much as I can for this to avoid making too much texture. You do need to use a brush for some areas, like the little areas that are hard to reach with a roller. You just use a brush. We will need to cover those holes with Dixie mud as well. Once it's dry, you can sand it smooth. I usually leave Dixie mud dry overnight. Now for our color, I chose Dusty Blue. I've been wanting to try this color for such a long time that I had to do it. I gotta say, the coverage for this color is amazing. Like, one coat did so much. I needed two coats of this for solid coverage. For a wash technique, I do suggest you leave your base color dry overnight to prevent lifting the paint when we are doing our next step, which will be a whitewash. For the wash, I'm using fluff. Fluff is one of my favorite whites. It's not too bright, it's not too yellow. It's like perfection. <laughs> We're going to also need some water and a cloth for this. What you want to do for a wash is wet your brush first. Then dip that in the paint and wet it a little more. You want your paint to be really watery for this. Once you get your paint on there, you want to wipe it off immediately. Also, you want to go in straight long lines for this. If you want to remove more, you can spray some water and wipe it down again. Be very gentle when you're spraying water. I did this to the rest of the dresser, working my way from top to bottom. You 
want to work top to bottom, so if you get any drips, it doesn't matter. There is many different ways to do a whitewash technique, but this is one of my favorite ways to do it, the easiest to me. I almost forgot to create the new holes for my hardware. Now for some dry brushing, I'm using Herkin Grey. When it comes to dry brushing, you always must unload your brush. You want that brush so dry it barely has paint on it. The more paint you have, the more problems it can create while dry brushing. It looks best in details, lines and corners. Just work slow and add as you go. what it looked like after dry brushing. This is definitely one of my favorite painting techniques. I will leave a more detailed video on paint washing and dry brushing in my description. Now for protection, I'm using my Easy Peasy Spray Wax. It's my go-to wax now because it saves so much time. I chose those crystal knobs to replace the hardware. I wanted neutral hardware I didn't want any color hardware, I just wanted neutral hardware, so the crystal knob is the right decision, in my opinion. I added that on and it was done. It's very pretty and it has coastal vibes. I really love this one. This will look so good in a house on the coast of Maine. That's probably where it's going to end up. <laughs> on the coast of Maine. <laughs> That's where it belongs. What do you guys think of whitewashing and dry brushing? Do you like those techniques? I really hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time with more pro... Blah, blah, blah.